A group of relatives of Ukrainian prisoners of war gathered at a rally in Kiev on Tuesday to remember their loved ones as the full-scale Russian invasion reached its 1,000th day. Teshiana Mosul's husband was taken alongside 75 others on the first day of the full-scale invasion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. You can say that our lives have stopped, Mosul said as she gathered with others at the rally. Without our close ones it simply stopped. At the Maidan memorial dotted with flowers and flags, Helena Syenko, a 66-year-old internally displaced resident of Donetsk region, stood in reverence. I never expected Putin to do such a terrible thing, to his brotherly Ukraine, she lamented. Post-worker Valentin, meanwhile, surveyed a flag memorial commemorating soldiers who died defending Ukraine in Kiev's central Independence Square. Before Russia's invasion, this was an ordinary green lawn in the heart of Ukraine's capital. Tourists would visit to take photos, and locals would stroll there on weekends. But 1,000 days of war have transformed it into a makeshift memorial, dotted with blue and yellow flags each honoring a soldier who died fighting Russia. Many were volunteers who left their civilian lives behind to answer to defend their country. Their loved ones, left alone with grief, hope their sacrifices won't be forgotten. They plant small, simple flags, hand-marked with the names and dates they died. Over time, the flags have multiplied, fluttering in the wind as the seasons change and the war drags on. For a longer perspective, I don't make any plans, he added. We are still waiting for our victory, otherwise it will be a catastrophe. As the war continued, the place has transformed. The grass has faded away, replaced by well-worn paths resembling those in a cemetery, winding through thousands of flags. Among them, many portraits have appeared brought by relatives showing confident, smiling faces in military uniforms. Каже, можно свою родную страну, Украину, да, с Москвой так бомбить. Можно? С-200, С-300 и град на людей посылать без защиты. Это ж нельзя так. Я говорю Путин. Я никогда не ожидала, что вы такую гадость сделаете родной Украине. Ну, без планов, как бы, не можно. План на 2-3 дня <laughs> обовязково есть. Дуже майбутнє велике. Пока что нет. Пока что ждем, когда мы победим, то иначе беда будет. Before Russia's invasion, one square was an ordinary green lawn in the heart of Ukraine's capital of Kiev. Tourists would visit to take photos, and locals would stroll there on weekends. But 1,000 days of war have transformed it into a makeshift memorial, dotted with blue and yellow flags each honoring a soldier who died fighting Russia. Many were volunteers who left their civilian lives behind to answer the call to defend their country. Their loved ones, left alone with grief, hope their sacrifices won't be forgotten. They plant small, simple flags, hand-marked with the names and dates they died. Over time, the flags have multiplied, fluttering in the wind as the seasons change and the war drags on. I put it so that someone might pass by and see that this person once lived and gave their life for us, said Svetlana Kurichenko, 
who traveled from Cherkasy to replace the weathered flag she had planted over a year ago in honor of her son, who died fighting. She carefully placed a new one in its place. So we can live peacefully among our own people, and not have Russians dictate how we should live and what to do. Photos from that time show dozens of flags neatly arranged in rows across the grassy field. As the war continued, the place has transformed. The grass has faded away, replaced by well-worn paths resembling those in a cemetery, winding through thousands of flags. Among them, many portraits have appeared, brought by relatives, showing confident, smiling faces in military uniforms. The place is strewn with fresh and dried flowers, a concentration of grief and an epicenter of Ukrainian history. Independence Square, after all, has long been the heart of Ukraine's revolutions. For many, it is the only fitting place for their loved ones to be remembered. City authorities have no control over this memorial. It was created by people themselves, driven by a deep need to honor their fallen in the absence of an official government memorial. Soldiers and families come here to sit for long stretches, gazing quietly into the distance. Nearby, funeral ceremonies take place almost every day, followed by moments of silence. Passers-by stop, kneel and observe in quiet reverence. But soon, life in the capital moves on, returning to its usual pace. The memorial keeps growing with each passing day, a reminder of the price Ukraine pays for its freedom. Так, хочеться фотографію поставити. Як же її? Хочеться, щоб ти привісний льот був. Що, прямо красиво. Це дворянь. Ти в ранній раз вижив. Знаєте, я помендував. Це мій синочок. Колпаковський Ніколай. 28 літ. 26 декабря. 23-го року. Він погиб в Старомайорській. Мы родом из Запорожья. Нам его не хватает. Это ужас. Такой парень был хороший, не женат еще был. Ничего после себя не оставил, никого. Будь проклята эта война. Ненавижу ее. Для того, щоб хтось хоч пройшов і подивився, що ця людина жила колись і віддала своє життя за всіх нас, щоб ми, ну, розумієте, могли спокійно розмовляти українською мовою, щоб ми були серед своїх, а не вибачте, щоб кацапська морда ходила отут і указувала, що мені робити, як мені жити. Хвилина мовчання на Майдані.